before we get our hands dirty and start building anything in Reactor, I want to make sure that it's very clear how the hierarchy works. So we're going to do a little anatomy lesson here in Reactor. I've loaded up an ensemble here, which is the main file type for Reactor. And an ensemble, just like in the real world, is a collection of instruments. First one here is one that I built myself. The second one is FM4 from the Reactor library. Echomania is an effect from the Reactor library. And then a basic four channel mixer. So these four instruments have all been wired up and saved as an ensemble so that they can be reused in other sessions or in standalone mode here. If we take a look one level under the hood, we see all four of these instruments. My sample player, the FM4 synth, four channel mixer, and the echo instrument, which is wired up to ascend and returns on the mixer. So here's my four instruments making up a complete ensemble. If I go one layer deeper now inside an instrument, I'll see a bunch of modules. Some of them are very basic, like this add module simply adds the two inputs together and gives you the sum at the output. Some of these are macros. And what that means is that I can double click and go inside of there and I'll find more modules. So here we see a few more macros and modules. And I can keep going deeper in here and find more and more macros and modules. And notice this one has a slightly different icon on the module. If I double click there, I'm entering the core level. Notice the background changes, the layout is a little different. My inputs and my outputs are kind of locked in position. The connectivity is a little different. And this core level is a lot more mathematical and scientific. You get into some low level DSP sort of tricks in here. And that's a lot deeper than we're going to get in this particular tutorial. We'll save that for a more advanced series in the future. But while we're here at this point, we'll just take a look and double click here and find that in the core level, we also have macros where we've got more nested modules and more nested macros deeper and deeper. And we can trace our steps from here all the way back to the instrument and ensemble level. Where we're going to spend most of our time in this tutorial series is in this macros and modules layer. We're going to make some of our own macros. And we're going to learn about how to connect a lot of the basic and some of the more advanced modules. So to recap, an ensemble is made up of any number of instruments. Instruments contain macros. Macros contain modules and modules can contain core cells. Again, we're gonna be living at the level of the structure where it's all modules and macros. And there's plenty to cover there without getting as deep as core cells, and also without covering the reactor library instruments. 